Lived in Idaho for 30 years and was very active outdoors. Worked for the Environmental Protection Agency there and retired now. I've ridden a mountain bike for 30 years or so and haven't had any real issues, but I was riding over in Oregon on a trail that I'd never seen before and uh, was unfortunately riding downhill pretty fast. I crashed going around a corner and I was there for a couple of weeks and that's how, that's how things started. When I first came here, I, uh, I, you know, I didn't, I had no idea what I was, what my future was going to be. I didn't know if I could walk again. I didn't know what I could do with my hands. When I was an inpatient, I was approached early on about participating in a research study that evaluated a different type of electrical stimulation for its effect on your extremities. You know, I'm interested in research because I'm basically an environmental scientist, so I'm kind of curious about a lot of things. So our current SCI model system site-specific study is a research study in which we're looking at what types of upper extremity interventions help maximize recovery soon after injury. The idea being that we want to understand does adding electrical stimulation to conventional training improve outcomes? And then if it does, do these high parameters um, better integrate the central nervous system to promote recovery than what our conventional parameters are doing? And then we have timed the stimulation so that when he is completing a specific task, the muscles that should be firing are being fired by the stimulator so that hopefully it's reintegrating his nervous system into understanding how to do that movement again. Right. Then we'll feel him back. There it is, come on Lee. Front. I will never forget the day that I was, you know, first upright and walking on my feet. It was like I was just elated. It felt so good to feel the weight up and down my spinal cord. It was just wonderful. And then just the encouragement to, to do things like that and keep going. So, you know, it made me realize that there was more to my future than maybe I thought. So it was just a, a wonderful point. We have this incredibly strong foundation in both spinal cord as well as traumatic brain injury research, evaluating the longitudinal outcomes of the patients and families that we serve. In addition to that important foundation, we are now adding a portfolio that's focused on translational research, which is really simply, how do we take the interventions that are gonna help our patients maximize their recovery and implement those both early after injury as well as into the chronic stages of their injuries. Patients and families are an integral component of all of our research at Craig. They play an important role from designing the studies that we're going to be doing to telling us what's a priority for them and, and allowing us to do research with them in a way that's hopefully going to better their lives. I think it's very important to participate in things like that because essentially you're helping out other people down the road. I mean, it may provide some benefit to you while you're in the program, but what you're doing is providing a basis for somebody that might come in to Craig, you know, five years from now to have better treatment or somebody else around the country for that matter. So it's really, I think, kind of looking forward and helping other people out while getting the benefit of the program yourself. So, you know, I came here on a stretcher and I was just determined to walk out the front door. And that's what I did five months later. I just walked out. Here's Lee leaving Craig. It was hard for me to leave here. You know, there was a lot of tears when I left. So, and I, I have great friends and the support is just uh, beyond compare, frankly. Craig is so open and supportive of other people coming in to help out. My sons came, I had numerous friends come to visit. It brought tears to my eyes many times. I think you sort of pick up that mentality of just wanting to help other people out. And I think that a lot of that is just, you know, retaining that Craig philosophy and projecting it forward.